Merry Christmas, girls. I hope you had a great day with loved ones and enjoyed the feasting and festivities of this time of year. It's a great time to mentally recover and uh, reset and reflect on the year that's passed. And then as we start to um, shift our mindset towards some goal setting for the new year. This week, we have an easy session in terms of our conditioning on a Monday. We step it up a little bit then, a moderate session on Wednesday, and then our main session a week on Friday. And that, that's simply so we're accommodating um, last week's training but we had a big session on Saturday, so we're, our body's potentially still recovering from that session. Uh, but also we want to try and um, gear up for getting in two solid sessions this week. So that's why we'll, we'll, we'll go to the Monday, Wednesday, Friday just for this week. It allows you to enjoy New Year's Eve as well and have the day off on the weekend. Um, but ultimately when we get back to um, our normal schedule, we'll go back to the Tuesday, Thursday, Saturdays. But just a heads up on this week being Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Monday's a feel-good session, so we're just focusing on recovery. And um, we want to make sure that we get in some good volume and we're getting the footies back out as well. So to keep, really important to keep our kicking loads up, not just from a um, skill point of view. So when we get back into training, our skills are on point, the fundamentals are in a good place for, for training standards, but also to keep uh, preventing from an injury prevention point of view. If we don't keep our kicks in, the long distance kicks, the punch kicks, the snaps, all the different types of kicks that you do when you play, um, then we're at a higher risk of, of injury when we return back into the football program where you, you may be doing, you know, a hundred or more kicks over a week. So make sure we're keeping consistency and get the footies out and feel free to add more football in over the Christmas period. So easy session. The main focus of today is the gym work. We've got a solid strength and power session for the lower body. So in terms of the running, it's uh, pretty cruisy. Just want to make sure that we, we leave the session feeling pretty good and try and go run close to the gym so you can just get the running done and go straight into the gym. Start with a five minute jog, break that up as much as you can, like a 40 seconds on, 20 second walk or 30 seconds run, 15 seconds jog, however you want to do it. Then four minutes of mobility. Then our footy fart leg, so try and pair up. Um, the Christmas program is always going to be done at a high quality if you can do it in groups. Um, not only from a team connection point of view is that important, but also from the training standards point of view, you're going to train better in groups because that's what we're used to. So see if you can get in the habit of, of communicating with your teammates and, and catching up for those that you live um, close by with. Essentially, we've got a footy fart leg where you simply start on the wing, you kick to a stationary training partner, 40 metre kick roughly. You then um, build up to a stride pace to that player, so 40 metre effort, receive a handball and then run, have a bounce and at relative speed you, you're kicking a long distance goal. If your partner is on the program, they will then complete the same drill. So you alternate uh, turns in who's doing what for the rolls and then you do a lap jog together and complete that three times. Then we've just got a feel good jog. So remember aerobic running, aerobic jogging, we're keeping the feet close to the ground so you're not generating high force. It's cruisy, your upper body's relaxed, you're keeping focusing on good posture and focus on your breathing. Good opportunity to practice like nasal breathing where you're keeping your mouth closed and practice breathing through our nose, which is a really effective way um, rather than breathing through our mouth to get the oxygen in and um, get rid of the carbon dioxide throughout the body. So a good way to um, practice on that when we're running at slow speeds, uh, practice a skill of breathing in and out through your nose. And ideally go straight to your strength program. Thank you. If you have any questions, feel free to message me in the Team Builder app.